Hi, John. My name is Stephen Cooper, and I was wondering if you could articulate for me your own personal theology. I know that you came from a dispensational background, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if you could talk about kind of like the history of your studying the Bible and being confronted with covenant theology and how you've sort of come to the conclusions you've come to and when that happened. Well, oh, yeah. let's see. <laughs> I was born at a very early age, and uh, fortunately, I was born near my mother, and uh, let's see, what else? No, um, I, 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 um, I was raised in a dispensational environment, there's no question. Um, people used to say of me that uh, his hope is built on nothing less than Schofield's Notes and Moody Press. And uh, I, I sort of grew up in that dispensational environment, but... Um, as I got into seminary, I, I began to uh, test some of those things, and uh, I have been perhaps aptly designated as a leaky dispensationalist. Or the Reformed people who want to claim me as Reformed say I'm, I'm a Reformed but confused. Um, <laughs> but here's my dispensationalism, okay? I'll give it to you in one sentence. There's a difference between the church and Israel, period. If you understand that, you understand the essence of what I believe is a legitimate biblical dispensationalism. That permits a kingdom, that demands a kingdom, and that makes you premillennial. Because if you believe there's a distinction between Israel and the church, then the church is not Israel. And if the church is not Israel, the promises of a kingdom to Israel have to come to pass, and that's why you have to have a kingdom. I came to understand that more narrow definition of dispensationalism uh, while in seminary, at least to begin to understand it and have and found that uh, my study of Scripture over the last uh, 30 years has yielded an affirmation that that is in fact correct. At the same time in seminary, I began to be exposed to reading among um, more Reformed theologians and found myself uh, drawn uh, toward uh, carefully examining the Scripture. And over the years of exegeting the Scripture, now 25 years here, it has again yielded to me a Reformed theology, but it is the byproduct of exegesis. I've always said a man has no right to claim a theology if he's not an exegete because how can you know what the whole is if you can't interpret the parts? So it's been a process. I, I was convinced of it when I started, and I'm more convinced of it now as I've gone through the text. I was convinced of it when I started because I... Uh, I read so many noble men who held that view. It was more at that point hero worship, and now it's become my own.